this card I'm going to be working with the Oriental Flowers stencil. It's really, really beautiful. We've got lots of flowers in there and it is Oriental in theme, but you could use it for so many different occasions. So I am going to be stenciling through it with texture paste and I'm going to go onto black cardstock so you can really see the effect when it's finished. I'm going to just tape down two corners of the stencil to make sure that that doesn't move. And I'll bring in my texture pastes. Now there's a lot of different texture pastes on the market, so um, any of them will work. And I've even seen um, tutorials where you can make your own as well. So have a look for those if you don't have any already. So I'm just scraping through the stencil. Uh, my <laughs> my knife has um, the handle's broken off, but never mind. It still works. I just have to hold it a little bit tighter. So I'm just scraping through using the long edge there to scrape away the excess paste again, being really careful not to go over the edge at all so I get a nice clear border. And just so you don't waste any texture paste, do make sure you're scraping the excess away as much as possible, but at the same time still filling in the gaps. Scrape the excess back into your jar to make sure you can use that again. And then I will remove my mask and leave this to dry. Beautiful. So now that's all dry and I did speed up the drying process with my heat gun, I can go round some of the elements with a fine glue pen. You can use a fine tip glue applicator if you've got one or an embossing pen, but with an embossing pen you need to work much quicker. So I'm just working my way around with the glue pen. All of the elements are now raised so it's much easier to pick out where the outlines are and just rest my pen against them. So once I've gone round a small amount, I'll then sprinkle on some gold embossing powder and um, heat emboss that. So that will just stick to where the outlines are and you'll have gold outlines to all of your white raised areas. So when that's finished that looks really really pretty with the gold around. So there I've just picked out some of the flowers and the butterflies from around the image and outlined them in the gold with the heat embossing. You could do this with glue and glitter otherwise or even some foiling if you wanted to but I think that makes it look even more dimensional with that gold there. So what I'm going to do now is simply just matte and layer this onto a card base and then add a sentiment. So here I've just stamped Thinking of You, which comes from the fabulous Feather Wreath and Sentiment stamp set. And I've just cut it into a banner and I'm going to place it on the card with some foam pads or foam tape just to raise that up. There we go. So there we have an elegant and sophisticated black, gold and white card, perfect for any occasion.